My friends, it is time. I extend my hand, inviting you to step with me into fantasy. Release your hold on that which you know to be true, and let imagination rule for the next few hours. And well met, I am Mr. Disembodied Voice DM at your service, and I welcome you one and all to Lawful Stupid RPG. We are trapped at home. Playing with us today, we have Typhon the Wizard, Silas the Paladin, Doran the Warlock, Falkron the Cleric, Rim the Ranger, and Persephone the Bard, and Jax the Rogue. Mistakes will be made mostly by me. Please keep your criticisms kind, have patience, and know that all negative comments will be carefully and judiciously ignored. Are there any comments or announcements before we begin? In real life, we work at, at the Ohio Shakespeare Festival and we just did for anybody who is trying to read Romeo and Juliet at home during quarantine while you're learning remotely, Romeo and Juliet is all released over a Zoom platform on the website at ohioshakespeare.com. So if you have teacher friends or if you have to read that right now, that's a way more palatable way than sitting down and reading it quietly. I think so. Check that out. It's totally free. Ohioshakespeare.com. Mm -hmm. And we're in it. So. All right, Jade, you said you had something. Yeah, I just wanted to obviously let people know that we obviously have got this show is now live. This is our second week live. Um, uh, me and Scott are going to be working together to get the ones before I was in it and the, the pre ones up on the YouTube so people can watch them if they want to follow the campaign from the beginning. Um, we have got a new campaign coming soon as well on a Friday night, which is going to have Peter as our DM. Uh, there's a couple of players in here that are going to be in it as well. Uh, that's going to be Curse of Strahd. All right, excellent. Very well. Last time. You completed your destruction of the lair of the dead three cultists. You rescued some prisoners and did away with the final cult leader, a wizard named Flennis, who damaged you quite severely, but was slain nonetheless. Leaving the frolicking nymph bathhouse, you discovered that Mortlock Van Thampur, who had given you information about his mother's plans for Baldur's Gate, had been slain by cultists, this time of the evil dragon queen Tiamat. Mortlock had told you that his mother, Falamra Van Tampur, had been funding the cultists of the Dead Three, hoping to stir up fear in Baldur's Gate so that she could use it to acquire more power. He suggested that, if you sought to confront her, his brother Amric might be a valuable bargaining piece. Amric should be at the Low Lantern Tavern in three days. The dragon cultists who killed Mortlock sought a treasure they claimed he and his family had stolen from their queen. Stolen by servants of Zariel. You are in possession of this treasure, but were in no shape to resist them. And so they took it, leaving you free to seek a way to lift some curses two of your party were suffering from. You made your way to the unrolled scroll, the Temple of Agma, and met Father Corcoran Pebblemoss, who agreed to remove the curses in exchange for some favors. He wanted you to take a goblin in his charge out into the world and retrieve a book from Ramazith's tower. You agreed and set out the next morning. You have explored some of the tower, having encountered a silent library, a murderous rug, and a wizard's workshop. Seconds ago, Jax, the goblin, picked up a small bronze statue 
of a celestial woman and spoke the name engraved on the bottom, Elila, a beautiful woman with small horns, black feathered wings, and a long serpent-like tail appeared in a glowing circle on the floor, sang a song in celestial and is watching you all intently. Falkron, I believe the song should still be in your journal. Would you mind reading it to everyone again? Absolutely. And by in my journal. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you found it. All right. Where did I put that? Journal? Yeah, journal, journal. Something about a journal. That one found here somewhere. All right, then. You... The, the Song of Elila, sung in Celestial, translated to common. Look down, my love, look, my love, look down. Behold a heavenward gaze, redeemed in whole a sinful soul, come set the world ablaze. Come down, my love, my love, come down, drink deeply from the well. Let brightening day pass on its way, lie still, weep not for hell. Lie down, my love, my love, lie down, from to delight of flesh. Fear not the flame, thy hope reclaim, fall into passion's crush. Fall down, my love, my love, fall down, yield to lust's command. No path remains toward hallowed plains, for thy love be damned. Thank you very much. Adventurers, what do you do? I'll obviously turn. Um, looking intently at this new woman, you said uh, horns, feathers, and such, yet is speaking what we determined to be celestial? Well, if you don't speak celestial, then all she just spoke was gibberish. But uh, I'm certain that Falkran can inform you as to what she just said. No, I, say, I informed the group that she was singing in celestial and had translated the song as such. I don't understand the language, but it sounds condescending. That makes sense to me that you would understand condescension. Anyway, who are you then? I ask in common. Hmm. Oh, thee of righteous heart, you look upon one unjustly imprisoned by false dealing and sinister intent. My name is Elia. Who are you? I am Typhon Ophiacus. Alcarun Boneforge. Persephone Steel Hollow. Rim just raises a claw and says nothing. <laughs> and I'm Doran, I guess. Uh, I'm Jackson, you're very beautiful. <laughs> ah, such manners. Uh. Come closer, I can barely see outside this prison. I would like to step just up to the edge of whatever containment circle, but not letting any part of my body past it, if All that right. makes sense. Absolutely. Go ahead and move your token if you don't mind. And That's as fine. he does that, I'm not 100% sure that, that, that he's going to stop there, and I kind of put a hand out like, no, don't get too close. And I would like to just inquire, uh, in looking at this uh, apparition before us, uh, I think, would we equate this to something we have seen before, such as a tiefling, or would we equate this to something, gosh, this is new? Make a nature check. I make a nature check, and the result is 19. Um, there are subtle differences. Um, it's possible that she is a tiefling, but your experience with tiefling and your gut intuition tells you that she is not. Aside from appearing in a circle, which appears to be magical, right? 
So most tieflings tend to have one or two um, uh, clues as to their heritage. She has several. What about devilish or demonic traits? Kind of a mm. l- looking into that realm Make of things. Make a religion check, please, Typhon. Certainly. Yes. 22 uh, is my result. She is very fiendish looking. Um, the fact that she has feathered wings is a little off-putting. Um, usually, depictions of fiends tend to have uh, more bat-like or uh, um, skin wings, um, leathery wings, that sort of thing. Um, but the horns and the tail uh, would definitely be... Um, fiendish does that um correspond to any of the sort of magical ruins that are encircling her is there something that would connect these dots a little bit make an arcana check i shall a seven is my result. <laughs> um, they are in mo- motion and they are slightly nebulous um so it's too difficult for you to tell exactly what uh, the purpose of these runes are. But she doesn't seem to be moving outside of the circle. Okay. I will say in the infernal tongue to her, no, it's quite all right. Just come a little closer to me. I don't mind. Her eyes drop, but she says, that tongue is difficult for me to hear. But but you understand me. Of course I understand you. I cannot move from this circle. I am trapped. A loathsome creature, Ramazith, it calls itself, has doomed me to spend eternity as a prisoner, subjected to its puerile whims. Must have been a great creature indeed to to trap something as powerful as you. She looks, sort of turns to you, gives you a knowing look. It says, I appreciate your flattery, but the truth is yes, Ramadith is quite powerful. What exactly has trapped you? I assume some sort of magic, but do you know how it works? Mm. I bound myself to serve Ramazith for a period of nine years. It was a freely made contract, but I was fooled. Keeps me mostly in that statuette, and she points towards Jax. And time moves differently for me there, whilst I'm contained within. The frame of days codified in our agreement only decreases while I'm in this circle. As such, I fear I will be lost to the ages, doomed to witness the world fade to ash as I watch from behind cold metal eyes. I only have a few minutes more before I must return to the statuette. I, for one, cannot stand to let a male creature let a a control a female against her will. How may we aid you? You can destroy the statuette. But this is my treasure. Her treasure is her freedom and and choice in the matter. You could probably just glue it back together once you've broken it in half, too. Besides, Jax, once we break it, you'll have two. Well, that's a good point. Uh, DM? Mm-hmm. I am going to activate Divine Sense. 
It's like so very well. Too much. You open your senses to the source of divine energy that has been given to you by uh, Velandra Galnareth and try to determine if there's anything in the room that is offensive to her. And this woman glows red. She is a devil. Beyond a doubt. I announce to the group, Please, friends, be wary. We are viewing a fiend. No celestial being is this. I will just let a toothy smile drip across my face as I stare standing at the edge of the containment field again. I never claimed to be a celestial. You spoke to us in celestial, which would make us think that you were. It was my tongue when I was first born. I was not always a devil. Do you recall the song I sang? The song the Ramazith forces me to sing every time I am summoned? How can we trust you? I have done nothing to earn your distrust. We are a moment in- ago you were you were full of pity for me for being contained against my will. And now, simply because of what I am, you think I should stay in no. this living no, death? No one spoke anything of deserved or otherwise. I simply stated your nature. And yet that was enough for some of you. For you, I can see it in your eyes. You would leave me here. We haven't made that choice yet. I'm asking you to help us make the opposite choice. We are in unfamiliar territory. We need to look out for our own safety. Well, then as a gesture of goodwill, what would you know? How are you now a fiend if you were once celestial? such a long time ago. I fell in love. The creature that I loved corrupted me. And in the end, I was given a choice. Continue to love or return to Mount Celestia. I chose to love but the love faded as all love fades and in its place was lust and corruption and empty flesh. And now I am what you behold. This is the way of betrayal. That is the end which comes. Which is not to say that I don't still find enjoyment in living. I could help all of you find enjoyment in living. Come, wizard. For you are a wizard, are you not? She says, looking at you, Typhon. I give a curt nod. Have you ever summoned a familiar? Of course. If you release me, I could be your familiar. If you release me, and if you kill Ramazith, for he lives still, I can sense it. You would trade one sort of slavery for another? Oh, well. It's not slavery. It's an agreement. And this agreement, I would be very careful to word in such a way that I could never be trapped in time this way again. Hmm. Um, I, this is begging for an insight check from me, if I may. I, I, I would like to know whether she's lying or not, and if that's 
acceptable. What specifically do you want to know that she's lying about? Um, the... Well, I, I would like to know if she actually intends to harm us if we free her and if she's that or if she's truly offering her service, it, honestly. Whichever one, I mean, yeah, truly offering her service is what I will... Um, Right. She has not promised not to harm you, so I will allow you to uh, make an insight check to see whether or not she is telling the truth about being willing to serve you in return for her release. I want to. I want to aid with this insight check. I want. I'm afraid I can't allow aiding on insight checks. This is all happening within someone's own brain. You know, if you were to make an insight check of your own. That's fair. All right then. If I anyone shall. would notice, Jax is sort of sitting there trying to chew in half this statue. <laughs> I all right. um all right. Um hmm. So if I wanted to whisper something to a character, would I do it on roll twenty? Would that work? Yeah. Whisper. Do a test and then I'll let you know. Yeah. I, <laughs> so so <laughs> we've we've fallen for this trap before. It's a backslash W, right? Yeah. yeah. Space, and then the name. The name. I rolled an eight. I'm a little distracted. She's yes, pretty. She is indeed. I would expect nothing more than that reaction from you, Typhon. Keep talking, guys. I'm, You're going I'm typing to have to too. give it up at one point, Silas. Truly. She is fascinating, though, isn't she? Look at this. She is. <laughs> if you haven't been so close, I'm just kind of circling around the edge of the. Um, uh, Ooh, the she doesn't the like circle. that. She just does not like looking it. and um, Typhon. to be so close to an actual fiend. Typhon. You could almost you could see the makeup of the flesh. Well, the feathers way... plucking f themselves from the skin. It's, it's, it's terrifying. And beautiful. I can't tell, Typhon, if you want to hug her or dissect her. Yes, I can say that uh, I don't appreciate when when men behold women, especially when there is a power dynamic structure. She she holds out her hand invitingly to you, Typhon. Typhon. She's just inches away. She's begging you to touch her hand. I'm I will going... step I, oh. I will step back and I will turn to Persephone and say, um, do not mistake this creature for something like you. It's a fiend. It's not it's not a being like you or I. It's a, it's a creature of the hells, not of this plane. She seems to have the same sort of wants and needs and... Yes, but her power is incredible. Yes, please continue talking about me as if I'm not in the room. It's so... freeing. Time is almost up. I can't leave her here. But... so... So what's your offer, then? We break the statue and deal with the consequences. We break the statue. Oh, I've chipped Wait. it. Oh, no, that was my tooth. Wait. <laughs> yes. What do you yes. promise? Yes. More, goblin. I will serve you. Break it. Jax? She is yes. laser-pointed on Jax, who is in very close to destroying this... Not all Rim is moving statue. into the room and he picks up both Jax and the statue and I try to remove the statue from uh, uh, from Jax's hand. And I'm A power there. play, quite literally. Yo, give that Have back, just, that was my treasure. That was promised take to me. This, take this moment, Persephone, to notice that you've been speaking but you are not in the room. She doesn't have control of her token. She does not. Why not? I don't know. You, yeah, really you need to do the same automatic. thing you did for me. Okay, so you have... Or delete it or let her drag it on. Yeah, I'll do that. Um, could you make mine a normal size? I know I'm small, but I can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> I spent yes. 10 minutes thinking, where am I? Where are you? Yeah. He's right by the table. It's yeah. like where's Waldo, oh, yeah, but thank you. Oh, there you are. Yeah. I know I'm small, but... <laughs> it's fair enough. You're so uh, small, Now, um, Persephone, small. If, you, if you drag your token from... Um, the side there onto the um, onto the board. You should be able to control it. Go to journal and then drag your click on the actual name and drag, not the token. Yeah. 
on the journal, find your character, click on the character, click and hold and drag. That one's just going to be gigantic like Rim is. Could be. That was my goal all along. There she is. Thank you. All right. Okay, so the ring along the floor begins to glow a little brighter, and she's like, no, no, please. The offer stands. Nine years of service. Break the statuette and destroy Ramazith. Where is Ramazith? He's... <laughs> and she's gone. They always do that. We can't leave her trapped. I agree that we can't leave her trapped, but I don't think it's a good idea to break it here when we're vulnerable. I think we should seek more information before we... Perhaps if we brought the statuette back to a temple, perhaps the temple of Ilmata or Ogma, that cobblepot fellow. I... I think I could, um... Brother discern Pepper. what the magical properties of this particular item are. I could do it quickly, or if we took some time, I could divine it without wasting any of my uh, daily casting abilities. She's admitted the time does not pass for her when she is inside the statue. But if it is most wait... certainly passing for us. I'm just saying if dangers are coming, we could if do dangers... it quickly, or we could wait. Or we could just we take wait. it with us, and Jax could hold on to his treasure. Uh, Jax has already tried to gnaw the treasure in half. Yeah, no, uh, hold on Jack. to it. She was not telling the whole truth. That is a creature beyond any one of us. Perhaps the whole party. So does she deserve to be in prison? No one deserves to be imprisoned, and the suffering of someone is not something I take lightly, Persephone. Do not mistake me. But that creature is beyond any of us. In this, I must side with Falkrin, for if that being were free here, no doubt she would attempt to slay us all and drag us down to hell with her. And we would seek to send her to hell most swiftly, alone. This might not be the appropriate setting for such activity. But uh, might I just look at the object a bit closer and identify it just to just to ensure that we do not accidentally lose this thing again when we cannot be contained i would sooner trust a kitten with a cleaver kittens are very tasty <laughs> i have done nothing to betray you yet uh I quite quite the opposite it, typhon. Do I intend to. quite the opposite typhon you've proven your valor Never make me say that again. Thank you, Silas. Consider it just academic interest, not there's Typhon, we will yes. wait. Very well. As long as we all agree that we take care of this as soon as we think it is safe to do so. We don't leave her for longer than we have to. I agree. She shall not remain trapped in the statue forever. I'm fine with whatever we do, so long as she doesn't get free in the city. I, I don't care about some devil in hell. Perhaps uh, Father Pebblemoss might be able to assist us. I agree to these terms. That was it. Pebblemoss. Yes. Are we done in this room? Oh, yeah. So it would seem. Yes. Who's keeping the statue? I trust Rin. I do. I, yeah, I'll hold on to it. I take uh, what little money I have in my pocket and I give it to Jax to uh, as as an exchange for the uh, for the statue. <laughs> how much is that, by the way? Um, I actually don't know how much I'm carrying. What did we end up doing with the treasure that we brought out of the uh, that we brought out of the uh, dungeon? That's a we, good question. We, we haven't divided it yet. I, I, I sold the stuff the we temple. took off the We're pirates. We're certainly not carrying chests and chests of thousands. No, we are not. I think we left it at the temple. <laughs> sure, you left it at the temple. That works for me. Um, so that would mean you have whatever you have on you, Rim. And I think um, story-wise, that was going to be not much. Not much, no. 
so I'll, I'll, I'll hand a few silver pieces to Jack since I, and uh, I will exchange it back when this is finished. Oh, thank you. This is very, this is a lot of money. I've just realized I've got 10 gold pieces for creating a character. But <laughs> oh, where did that come from? I must have found that of someone else. Very well. What do you do? My mind pops up and like, put that money in your pocket, like, here, buy yourself something nice. <laughs> Shall we continue exploring? There's one more door on this floor, I believe. Yeah. And the I'll... thing I would caution you, friends, is that if Razumov was able to trap a fiend, not to be taken lightly. I don't think any of us were taking it lightly to begin with. No, some of us got the rug pulled out from under us. For the record, the name was Ramazith. <laughs> Ramazith. Should be familiar to anyone who played the original Baldur's Gate game. Just to anyway, <laughs> um... I did, but I was like <laughs> seven <eight>. age. <laughs> you turn to leave this room and notice that this door. Please tell me everybody sees that. Yes, yeah. we do. Oh, oh door. thank goodness. Um, is locked. It is closed, and there is a blue glowing circle around the doorknob. Oh. This is the first time all of you have been out of that room. Fine, we don't want to go back down yet anyway, so. <laughs> oh, that's where we come from, isn't it? Oh. Really sorry, out like this sorry which, which door was that again? The door into the uh, caracol. It was the north door we entered from, correct? Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah. It had been standing open, and as soon as you all left that central corridor there, it closed and locked itself. Hmm. I will move back into the hallway and to the side. I'm just going to move uh, a little ways back from the door we're going into next, I assume. The west door. Shall we just say everybody moves into that room? That's fine. Sure. Yeah. I will look back longingly at so many things left unstudied. <laughs> exit very Jack, well Jack's just standing there looking around oh you want me to open this door I'll go and check the door for traps mm, roll a perception uh, investigation check please I rolled a 15 this door is not trapped I will try to open it it is not locked it is not locked. Okay, I open it then. I will now reveal the areas. Let's see if I can do this correctly. As you do that, I saddle up to type it and say, I spoke not out of mistrust for you, mind you, but out of the dangers of the foe that we face. I, I understand your concern, and that... Our motives are coming from the same place. You see, I only want to cast a spell to identify this object, learn its magical properties. I will not do anything to actually affect it, just learn what makes it tick. It's the way that my ab the ability works. It's the way the spell works. I can know the triggers. I can know what vulnerabilities, what might set it off, and how we might control it, should we choose to do that or not. Does that make sense? This is only my concern about the same object and the same potential consequences. That makes sense. Wild bygones it. are bygones, though. It's fine. You ahead, uh, Persephone? While they're having that conversation, I stand close to Rim and say, if something were to happen to separate any of us, promise me you'll do your damnedest to not let that being stay trapped in that statue. I wish justice for all, but we need to figure on our safety first before we release the creature. Agreed. I just mean if for some reason I'm not there, you promise you'll do your best. I promise. Very well. Jax opens the door. A gust of warm earth and floral scented air washes over you. Before you is a verdant garden, 
Trees, vines, and shrubs of all sorts extend out to every corner of the room. A dazzling brilliance, as pure as sunlight, emanates from no discernible source and filters through a thick canopy of branches and ivy. The floor is covered in dark, rich earth. Flanking the doorway stand two large pots which are practically bursting with geraniums. Beautiful. I eat one. <laughs> <laughs> so you step into the room. <laughs> Show me where you go, Dax. Just walks there, sees them. Oh, they okay. look tasty. <laughs> Never, a, never had that power make, before. Make a wisdom save, please. <laughs> okay. I'm great. I'm good at wisdom saves. Fifteen. Oh, very hey. good. Um, it, you know, based on some of the flowers you've eaten, not bad. They're very tasty. You should try one. Do you continue on into the room? Um, he's peering in first, looking for any rugs. <laughs> there are no rugs. I'll give you that one for free. Okay. I will say, however, that um, the terrain right here looks like it might be difficult to walk through quickly. Okay, it's just gonna get low to the ground. It, obviously, the woodland sort of area. He's a bit more at home. I know this is like a man-made uh, garden, maybe a bit wild, but he puts his head to the, uh, his ear to the floor and sort of like sniffs the air a bit. These tracker instincts sort of like kick in a little bit. All right. Um, are you looking for signs of life? What are you? Yeah, anything that looks odd. All right. So um, hmm. I'm going to say you can make either a survival check or a perception check. Uh, either the same role for me. I'll do a survival. Uh, 11. Um, as far as danger is concerned, which I'm, I'm, I'm expecting is your primary concern, yeah. um, nothing seems to be dangerous about anything that you are able to see at the moment. Looks so, good, and I'll just walk in. Oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm, right right behind behind I'm driving like, Jax, 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 Jax. I'll walk in. Oh, yeah. All right, Doran, please make a wisdom save. Great. Uh... Seventeen. It's very pleasant in here. Falcon. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, it looks like Falcon. You also need to make a wisdom save. Absolutely. If everyone gets uh, a chance, um, go to your settings in roll twenty and turn off background beep. I. Uh, I am not seeing that wisdom save from Falkron. Oh, there it is. Oh, yes. Excellent. Very pleasant in this room. Nice I'm place going to, to have a picnic. Uh, uh, from the doorway, I'm going to see what it is that I can see about the uh, uh, the plant life and other such things. Um, you see what you see. Typhon, it looks like you also need to make a wisdom save. Indeed. I have a 12 those feelings of anxiousness and anxiety that you had about leaving the uh, laboratory, um, they, they fade. You are very calm and kind of just feel like going with the flow. It'd be very difficult to upset you at this moment. Hmm. This is nice. Perfect time to pick his pockets. Sorry, um, are you just standing there in the doorway? Is everybody coming in? Oh, I'm um, okay. Or is we're good? All right. So Jax is in, Doran's yeah. in, Typhon is in. I'm. I walk in after Falcon says this is nice. All right. Make a wisdom save, please. I'm looking for other flowers that might be tasty. <laughs> Make a perception check, Jax. Perception. Nine. Uh, there appears to be lots of fruit, but they're all unfamiliar to you. You're not sure what would be tasty. Um, so Persephone, yeah, um, the sort of indignation you feel about the fact that Elila has been trapped against her will, um, regardless of what kind of creature she is, that fades away. Um, you don't care so much anymore. It's really nice in here. 
It's really nice in here. When I walk by the potted plant, I pop a little bit of it into my mouth. See, Jax was talking. Any truth? <laughs> uh, it tastes like a flower, a little bitter. Um, it's got a nice crunch to it. Is it good? You weren't supposed to see that. <laughs> Are the, is this like an herb garden for the wizard? Are these like alchemical types of uh, plants and such that would be used and harvested for ingredients? Or are they just smell uh, nice, taste it, bitter? Or You're in too good a mood to care about stuff like that, Typhon. I move um, five foot forward. All right. Is that Dora. a... I, Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. No, the, no uh, I, I've lost character control. <laughs> no, no, you haven't lost character control. Of course, make a perception check. Uh, let's see. If you fail this, you have. <laughs> 16. Um, there are definitely some plants in here that have alchemical properties, uh, but there are also plants that would probably be common in just a garden or a forest setting. Um, so... To say that this is specifically for that sort of use um, is probably not correct, although it certainly would be convenient. Okay. Um, Doran, make a will saving throw, please. Uh, wisdom or? Is that, yes, sorry, yes. Well, thank third edition. Always be will. School. Always yeah. be will save for me. That's a nine. Hmm. There's a voice that emanates from the tree that you're standing next to, Doran. Hello. You look friendly. And you look and you see a pair of beautiful brown eyes that are peeking out at you from this tree. And then a face tanned and freckled and hair slightly green. She comes out and you think this is the most trustworthy person you've ever seen. Great. You are under a charm spell. Excellent. Charming. What's your name? Uh, my name is Doran Freeporter, ma'am. And you? My master called me Apple, but my friends here gave me a different name. I don't think that? I can say it with my mouth, though. Oh. Well, should I just call you Apple, then? Or... If you like. Are your friends friendly? Oh, it's a bit of a mixed bag. Well, you'll protect me if I need you to, won't oh, you, Dorothy? Yes, of course. Time? Yes. <laughs> Obviously. Would would any of us observe this interaction? I, mean, I know that I'm I'm in the back, still in the doorway. Same. I've, I've not yet entered the room, but I'm just curious. Um let's see. I'm s those of you who have failed are too bemused by this room to be engaged in passive perception checks. Those of you who have succeeded, though, um, which would be Falkrun and Jax, and the other two who have not yet entered in, um, make your perception. She has been whispering. Doran seems to have been talking to something, but let's see. Let's see if she how she does on her stealth. I've got a passive of 16, but I will roll yeah. as well. <laughs> oh my goodness yes everybody everybody here is whispering except for those of you who are uh, under the uh, effect of calm emotions uh, everyone else hears whispering and sees Doran talking to a tree do I see what he's uh, talking to uh, there's a tree from where you are standing at the moment that's all you can see you say, do, I, do I see exit because I'm right next to him. Yes, you could see uh, just the barest bit of a face sort of sticking out of the tree. Nose, cheeks, hair, just the first three inches of a face. What, what, what is the size of the creature that I'm looking at, Sean? Is it about a 15 year old girl? All right. I go bounding over there. That's a. He... Oh! Oh, my job. I'm only five foot. Do I see it? You do. Do I know what this creature is? Make a nature check, please. Oh, for God's you do sake. not. What? Oh. You look like. I don't know what you are. I'm a goblin. Hello, goblin. I, I think it's been a long time since anyone has visited me. 
What are you? Ah, uh, the master called me apple. I hate apple. Are you a vegetable or a fruit? Oh, you hate apples? That's... No, I hate vegetables. I'm... I, she steps I'm fully out of the away. tree. Yeah, she steps fully out of the tree and goes to stand next to... Dora. Your new best friend. That's right. If you will give me a moment to... Um, there she is. I'm assuming that from uh, seeing a new person enter the, the line of sight from where I am, uh, I am uh, now officially uh, ready to attack. All right. Do you move into the room? No, because I would have to push past other people, and I'm, I'm not going to do that as of yet. I'm making sure that I stay between Persephone and the room we left. All right. You are on guard. And are the folks who failed their wisdom save now that she stepped out of the tree, are we still oblivious? No, you all are able to see her. Um, those of you who are under the calm emotion spell, which means those of you who failed your saves. Um, bemusing, not at all concerning. Definitely concerned. <laughs> I'm going to walk up a little bit to uh, introduce myself to her. Well, hello, you're very pretty. Thank you. So are you. Thank you. Are you trapped here? Do you need help? I don't think I'm trapped. Oh, good. This is where I like to be. This is... She points her hand. She, she puts her hand on her tree. This is my home. Apple. I'm, hmm? Who is your master? Oh. Hmm. I think his name is Rama something, but I'm, I'm not sure. You it's been were... a long time since I've seen him, or sometimes he's not a he, sometimes he's a terrible it. Do you uh, like him, or would you prefer he was not to come around anymore? Oh, I don't like him. I have one friend here. Well, in addition to these, and she puts her arms out and gestures to all the green things in this room. Um, oh, and other little friends who sometimes come. Who they... is your friend? Hmm? Who is your friend, Apple? Her name is Abela. She says she is my mother. That's her pool over there. And she points to this. I don't Sorry, didn't see a circle in the wrong layer. Pool yeah. or something? What does she point to? Uh, yep, oh, wasn't that, on the right layer. That one. <laughs> there it is. It's okay. Just descriptions are better end. than okay. than dots anyway. Yes. So in the in the northern portion, the northern corner, the there yeah. is a a large pool. It takes up that entire five foot square of um, crystal blue water. What's the one I'm standing next to? Is that uh, it looks like a fountain. I'll take yeah, a drink of the water. Fountain. It's delicious. Oh, tastes like that flower. <sighs> mm. Crunchy? My little friends, they sometimes come, they, they have red inside them. They say they come from other places, big places, strange places. How do your friends get here, Apple? Mm. Mm, they come from cracks. They crawl in. There are not many of them, and they're all very small. One time, I had a flying friend who stayed for a long time. I protected her, but I couldn't protect the others. What did you protect them from? She gets very small. From the stair blight. I'm sorry, did you say the stair of light? The stair blight. Stair blight. What's that? Mm, it's over there. She points out the the door. And she I just turn around quickly, to... surveying the hallway that I'm standing in. 
There's nothing there. She begins to just sort of aimlessly walk around. My mind silence is like that. Jax is on all fours looking for like friends on the floor, maybe a mouse or a. All right, bug. make a perception check. And he will yeah. venture off over this direction on all fours. And a perception check coming up. She, if she moves around, 23. I just kind of follow with her. Okay. Um, there are some signs of life in here. Um, very small things, uh, mostly insects, uh, the smallest of small rodents. Um, you can imagine that given with the, uh, the care that this tower is maintained, it would be very difficult for anything living to get up here, but life does find a way. Okay. Like, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Well, if I manage to catch the rodent or anything, I'll quickly try to eat it. <laughs> None in view. Okay. <laughs> Luckily for you. Um, my mother hates the master. She says he's evil. She's very pretty. But not when she hates. Where is she? Can we, can we meet her? Oh, well, she's above us, she points up. Above the sky? It's what my friends call it, but it confuses them. We're all so confused in here. Could I approach this little pool here? Mm hmm. Apple. Mm -hmm. I'm a dwarf. What, if I may ask, are you? Hmm. Can I hold your hand? Of course. She touches your hand and you begin to feel a sense of timelessness. An existence not broken up by menial chores or tasks such as eating various meals throughout the time of day or praying or writing or anything of that nature. Just a long luxurious existence of peace and calm and then a small nimbus of potential energy potential life something that could grow and be beautiful but not where it's left something totally alone and solitary and a name comes to your head lone seed rim speaks up for the back and he says uh, apple do you wish to be free from this master hmm. my mother once spoke of being free I used to visit her, and she points upward again. There used to be many trees up there, and I could walk to them from my tree. I can't go that way anymore. I don't know why. I when miss Abela. When you say your Rama master was some sort of horrible it, what is it? She shudders. He was like a big a big cloud or a a big uh, she looks up and she sees an orange hanging from the tree like that except with vines coming off of him and at the end of each vine was an eye and there was one big eye in the middle oh. and a very very large mouth it's very scary. Do well, those survive? Have any idea. Yeah, does this description ring a bell? As I uh, think we're make, all running. Make a nature check. Even oh, the ones of us who are yeah, not so, concerned. Yeah, no, sorry, the ones of you who are not concerned. This is just, you know, oh, that's, that's nice. Interesting. Uh, <laughs> a nine. Jax doesn't give a shit. He's still yeah, over natural, bugs. Natural 20. I have uh, a 22 you have nature. never encountered it, Rim, but you are pretty sure she is talking about an eye tyrant. Oh. Uh, as are you, Silas. Uh, 
What do you know of them, Silas? As with most things it seems that we're encountering, it would quite likely be the death of us. Um, that's nice. When, when, you, when, when Apple hears you say that, she nods her head, you know, so, oh, yep, that's right. Well, that, that won't do. Is there, Apple, is there a way we can get you out of here safely, away from this master? Oh, I won't leave without my mother. All right. That makes sense. The last oh. time we talked, she wasn't here, but she was very scared. She said that I was free, that I should run, but I ran and ran and ran, and she sort of points around the room, like making a circle around the room, and nothing happened. Apple, hmm. what does your mother look like? She's so beautiful. She looks like... I can't describe her, actually. She's like... Hmm. Sunset and sunrise. These are things she's shown me in my head. I don't experience them here, but when I think of these things, I think of her. Does your mother have wings? No. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I think the master and her broke some things above the sky. It was very loud up there for a while. Hmm. Well, we're just going to have to go look. She was so scared. I think if she were to lay in her pool, she would feel better. Would you like to lay in her pool? Yes. Go. Please. Okay. Oh, keep doing it. <laughs> I've moved yeah. south a little bit. I've been up here just a bit. I was hoping that... Could we investigate it a bit and look sure. into it Persephone in you just go and jump in, just jump in. okay yes. how deep is that pool <laughs> she's just like okay that sounds great I have to jump, you jump in it's it's uh it's a, a deep wading pool um what I don't believe you took any damage uh the last time we played you weren't here Did you uh, hit points had, on yeah. my sheet I had one hit point down so I just kept it because it okay like maybe that happened in the game when I wasn't there. Um, that one hit point is restored to you. Does she splash me? <laughs> <laughs> As she cannonballs? <laughs> Less than splashes. No, but once I, once I get it, I go, this is awesome! And then I splash you like that. <laughs> oh. oh. Um, Do I heal damage? <laughs> you get one hit points worth of damage returned to you. Is that Persephone or me as That's well? It's Typhon, yes. Okay. Ah. Interesting. It has restorative properties. And I, could I dip my hand in again and see if anything else happens? Um, you may. Okay. Nothing else happens. Uh, seeing Persephone dash across the room, uh, I do step into the room so I can fully survey it. Please make a wisdom save. And it's a nine. Hmm. It's going to be okay. Everything's going to be just fine. With with a little help from my friends. That's right. Hmm. You feel very compelled to run and jump into the fountain. <laughs> it does seem like a good idea, but a trifle undignified, perhaps. Who cares? <laughs> Silas. Silas, come back here for a moment. Sure. I'll come over there for a moment. I walk towards Rim. Oh, what what was that? That was that was not you, Silas. There was something affecting you. There was a damper on your emotions for somehow. For some reason. Are you okay? Rim, there's something about that room. Yes. I something see them all go. As soon as I cross the threshold. Something is wrong. Doran, could you come help me with Rim? Oh, Doran Freeporter, won't you stay here with me a bit longer? It's been so long uh, since I've had anyone to talk to. 
Of course, yes. I have to stay with my new friend here, so sorry. We're having a lovely time. Yes, we are. What a tea party. I step in the pool to try to get Persephone out. It's like, Persephone. Like, Come on in! Stop. Stop. <laughs> get out of the pool. You get uh, out of the pool. It's one hit points worth of damage restored to you, Falcon. Uh, Jax is going to uh, start digging a hole. <laughs> All right, Jax. <laughs> take a, some of these, a, a few samples of water. In do you have any empty vials? vials? I do in my herbalism kit. Yeah, you feel free to take a uh, a vial of water. Healing potion for NPCs, yay. <laughs> vial of special water. Um, All right, GM? Sure. Jax, <laughs> you do find the floor. I'll do it. How far down? It's about six inches down. Uh, uh, I'll look around to the others. Make sure no one's watching me. I pull out the three silver that Rim gave me. I put it in and I bury my treasure. <laughs> Very well. You have buried the three silver in this garden. I'm going to announce to everyone loudly. Uh, everyone. Please be careful. There's some kind of enchantment in this room. It may not be what we think it is. You don't understand. It's wonderful in here. Yeah. Thank you, Silas, for the warning. That is apparent. No, I think <sighs> she's a child, but... Doran, come over here. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Doran, I want you to stay. Oh, yes, I'm, I'm staying at you know, and until uh, I suppose eventually we'll go try and find your mother, but for now oh. at least we'll just stay here. You wish to find her? Yes, Apple. Yes, Maybe. you want to see her again, right? I do so badly. Yeah. I I have a secret. Secrets are fun. I'll tell you, Doran. And she puts her mouth to your ear. I lean down, I think. Mm-hmm. There was once a boy who worked with my master. He hid some things in here. I could show you where if you bring my mother down. Of course. Will you do that for me, Doran? Yes, of course I will. Thank you. I think, I think uh, part of that is why we're here anyway. I think we're here to remove your master. Oh, I think that will be difficult. We'll try our best. At least if we can find your mother, we can get her to you. I hope you come back. I hope you're not like the others. Don't worry, I have a magic sword. <laughs> yes, we're all very good at what we do. All right. What would you like to do? If she'll let me, I'd I'd like to leave, I guess, because we have to go find her mother. She takes a deep sigh. Don't fail, Doran, or you'll die. I believe that is true, yes. I'm still, like, hot-tubbing it in the pool. <laughs> Jax, Jax, you... Could, you, could you come here, Jax? Uh, oh, yes, I can't. I just need to wash my hands. I'm going to wash my hands in the pool and the fountain, um, drink a little bit. Are you completely in the water, or is it just your feet, Persephone? Oh, well, I, I'm sitting down, so if it's not, if it's, if it's like, shallow-ish, then I'm sitting with, like... like She's hot-tubbing like it. Big bathtub, yeah. yeah. All right, well, the first things that went in, I'm assuming, are your feet. Yes. Your boots have dissolved. Oh, that's cool. No, no, not cool. Out of the, out of the water, out of the water. Do you help me out? Like, uh, oh, yeah, no, I've, I've been like, I've been like pulling you on the arms, like out, Persephone, get right. out of the water. And I, I don't stop that. Like, okay. I don't right. struggle. Right. But I'm not like worried about it. 
you look and you look at your leggings going up your 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 legs and it's not like they've dissolved it's like they've somehow ceased to exist on this plane like you could see where your pants and your leggings go below your knee to your calf and they're solid and then they get a little hard to see and then completely translucent and then like, just gone and then like my and my leg isn't there either or it's just the fabric just the fabric okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I played a lot of it just stumps for legs I was like uh, <laughs> uh, all right everyone we have to we have to keep moving we have to uh, find her mother and, and bring her back here and I'm, I say as I'm walking out All right, I'll follow. Typhon, anything that you think the water might have touched on you that was inorganic has probably begun to fade away as well. Like, uh, not inorganic, like, non, like non-living. Like is it, is vial? it actually dissolving, like, the vials and then breaks? Or what is happening here? I didn't think about the vial. The vial would be <laughs> non-living. So, yes, you look down and the vial just disappears from your hand and now you have a wet hand it's a good thing it wasn't in your pocket (laughs) it doesn't hurt my hand though it doesn't it seems to trickle across your hand like normal water doran has crossed the threshold back into the hallway correct yes doran um you i don't believe you were under the effects of the calm emotion but you are still charmed is uh is it the same effects from this fountain um that I've drunk out of. There weren't any healing properties there. And if Apple it, comes over like dissolving. Do you like, do you like my fountain? Oh, I love it. It's very tasty. <laughs> he says you can she's probably seeing him wash her, wash his dirty hands in there. You're very cute. I think I'd like for you to stay. Uh I don't think you would survive if you went upstairs, she says very seriously. Well, I better stay here then. It's a bit boring in here, though. There's no rats, there's no mouse to eat. Well, sometimes Sucks. come on. To eat? No. No, we don't eat things. We don't eat our friends. If you're hungry, and she reaches up and pulls down an apple, you can have this. I don't like vegetables. What's a vegetable? Well, it's like those things. I'll taste it, though. I'll take a bite out of it. Okay. Tastes delicious. Even for me? Uh, uh. Well, I guess it depends. Uh, would a goblin enjoy something that would be uh, sweet to everyone else? I hate it. And it carries on, okay. eat- it carries on eating it. <laughs> <laughs> she sort of cocks her head at you quizzically. Like, hmm. I'll look around Jack's at idea. Silas. I'm not allowed to go. I'll probably die up there, apparently. She nods her head vigorously. He's just a boy. He's more capable than you might think. He's 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 quite clever. Apple, we we can't leave our friend behind. Would you like to come with us? No. I have to stay here. I understand. It's great in here. You don't have yes, to. it is. It is great in here. <laughs> oh yeah, you're still in there. <laughs> you do great. You do great. I'm, I'm kind of like trying to like move Persephone towards the door. It's like Apple. It was lovely to meet you, and I promise we'll come back as soon as we can. Where are you? Go- oh, that's right. You're going to find my mother. And That's I'm right. going to continue to be on waving way. people over, waving people over, like, come on. Come on, guys. <laughs> come on. Come out of the room with the, the, the smoke and the haze. Okay. Oh, all right. As you leave the room, you realize that you were not yourself in there. Um, and you kind of understand a little bit of why Apple is the way she is. I'll be back later and I'll head over and I'm going to take like a, as many as I can of these flower like heads. Don't uh, die. Uh, or out. die. I have no. It doesn't shoes. matter. Yes, you have no shoes. You have officially become that person after the tavern brawl. Oh my 
gosh, I'm going to have to fight people with no shoes. Okay. Great. She doesn't have any spare shoes for Persephone. I wonder if there's any glass, broken glass somewhere she could walk on. Die hard. <laughs> hmm. uh, here, get, get out your blanket, use your knife, wrap your feet. Have they actually physically gone? Can she still feel them on her feet? Or... Uh, yeah, can I? They are physically gone. Oh. You are barefoot. Ghost there's shit. there's a lovely rug corpse in the next room if you're desperate, but perhaps we should keep moving. I'll just be careful for now. I can't believe I don't have boots. What Apple described, does anybody know anything about those creatures? They're very dangerous. Uh, is this door unlocked? This door? Which door would that be? That's the one that had the blue flashing yeah. uh, thing to it earlier. Uh, the door that we came in? You yeah. try it, and it is an immovable. Hmm. I'll be right back. And I'm going to go in, back in. Hello, I'm back again. I'm going to go All over right, to this please pool. Make it, please make a wisdom save. <laughs> oh, damn it. I'm going to stay for a while. <laughs> oh, you're back. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> Are you going to stay? I can't remember what I came in here for. I think you came in here to relax in the pool. Oh, I'm going to go back in the room to try to get Jax. Make it say, we'll say, please, Falkron. <laughs> oh, my. They all fail. We're just here forever. Yeah. End of campaign. All right, Everyone. wisdom save. You, you succeed, Falkron. Jax? Are we going? I come in here for something, and I look at the pool, mm -hmm. and try to jog my memory. All, all right, so... 18. Oh, I remember. <laughs> 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 and uh, I, uh, I fill up my water skin with the water and quickly okay. run out and pour it onto the door. Interesting. If my water skin oh. hasn't disappeared uh, by then. Um, it doesn't... It uh, it does not disappear. You uh, have enough time to get there, and you splash it on the door. And after a few minutes, the door begins to turn non-corporeal. But Apple stands at the doorway and watches you do that. And she says, oh, you're not going to go there, are you? Is this not the way up? That's the stair blight. That's what killed all the others. And she steps, whoa, I am expanding her token. There we go. She steps away. She's the, the stair stand blight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Apple, can you tell us another way to get up to where your mother is then? Oh, yes. And she points across the way back towards the silent library. Can you be more specific? <laughs> yes. I don't know what that means. Could you tell us exactly what one does when one goes into the library and goes upstairs? Hmm. No. There's a way up there, though. That's the way up. The other way is is the way to be eaten. Do, do we go out the window? No, Jax. We don't go out Decidedly the window. Decidedly not out the window. No. no one goes out the window. Let's make that a rule. Apple, what is a stair blight? Have I heard mm. of a stair blight? Um, hmm, make a nature check. I am very nature. 22. You've never heard of a stair blight. However, there are creatures that do exist that masquerade as mundane objects. Um, they're known as mimics. Oh, I was gonna um, say, you've yeah. never heard of one being so large that it could be an entire set of stairs, but a stair blight. it's possible that's what it could be. Mm -hmm. I've seen treasure chests that eat people. You be them sort of things. Hmm. A mimic. When she says that there's a way, 
in the other library. I start to walk back into the room and very cautiously give the rug, like try to spot to make sure I know where it's at as I'm walking. As you step into the room, um, you are subjected to the silent spell again. Alright. Um, make a perception check. I'm also heading over there, but much more quickly and just like going into the room and start looking around. Ooh. Falkren, um, you oh. notice much is the same uh, as before. There is a large blood stain on the uh, pavement there. It looks like it's been Am I on the right? Yes, I am. It's on the, um, it looks like it's been cleaned, but you're able to discern that it is definitely a blood stain. Um, you look here again onto the desk and uh, realize that, uh, yes, there is a light on the desk, but it does not seem to be emanating any brightness. And then you remember, oh, yes, that's, a, that's an illusion. The oh, brightness right. in this room is actually coming from the lamp there and there there's several of them around but the one that is on the desk is an illusion mm -hmm. there's a floating uh, do, if I remember correctly there's a floating candle over by the bearskin rug yes the bearskin rug has uh, a overstuffed chair on top of it and uh, two candelabras are floating next to it alright I'll move towards one of those candelabras and try to grab one okay could you move yourself over there, please? I certainly shall, as I wander across the room. Again, keeping my eyes firmly on the corpse of the rug. The corpse of the rug is, appears to be a corpse. very dead rug. All right, then. Uh, anybody else wish to do anything? I, this hole that's in this uh, door that I've created, I'm going to mm -hmm. peer through a staircase. Sure, make Which a perception check, please. We're going to go ahead and say that that door is completely gone. 17. Oh, oh no, no, not, not, not the whole door. Okay. <laughs> well, okay, it's gone enough that you're able to get a very good look. All right. Uh, let me just go back in time here. Um, you see that the banister is decorated with abstract res representations of frolicking maidens. Some are adorned with leaves, some have horns, and they're in various stages of undress. Um... You, first, you don't see anything untoward about it, but then you look down and you see that b the floor, much like the entire rest of this tower, is very clean, except for two inches before where the green stairs begin. There is about two inches of very thick dust on the floor at the foot of the stairs. What did you roll? So you rolled a 17. 17. Okay. 17. Yep. I'm going to look at it. Take five foot step back. And I'm gonna, is there like a, a pebble on the floor or a broken bit of stone? Um, well, it's a very clean room. Uh, anything like that would have been uh, gathered up There's by uh, by magic. So not in, not in your immediate vicinity. I throw a ball bearing at it. Okay. Ding, 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 ding. Um, as you do that, the way the light shines on the banister makes the maiden design look more like scaly skin. And a section of the wall that looked like smooth marble a moment ago now looks like more of a huge half-closed eye. Slowly step away. <laughs> Sorry what about do that. You see, Jax, do you, do you look, you look spooked. It's a monster. Um, it's a stairway. It's Jax. definitely a stair you... monster. Can you not see it? <laughs> it... Right, you you have a look. Step... I'm, I'm very brave, but that looks scary. I'm going to step to where Jax was and see if I can tell what. Right, what make a perception is. check with advantage, since he has already um, said that it's dangerous. During this, may I impatiently begin to ritual cast detect magic to try and suss out some things? Looks like a staircase, Silas. Um, yes, go right ahead. Okay. As long as you are not in the room, of course. Correct. Um, Persephone, Rim, we good? Uh, yes, I'm just making sure that uh, Jax does not run into the stairwell. Okay. Um, oh, he's not. <laughs> Doran, what are you up to? Uh, I'm looking over at this bloodstain and trying 
to see if I can determine anything about it, what caused it. Um, so are you, are you like there was. on the blood stain, like? Yes. So right? we'll, okay, right there. Well, yeah. Falcon, what are you doing? There. I have uh, walked back to the desk, and I'm mm -hmm. going to attempt to put out the light on the desk. All right. How do you do that? Well, I uh, initially just take my hands and try to snuff the candle like so. Okay. Um, make an investigation check. Lovely. With advantage. Lovely. Hope we don't need that. <laughs> Well, it doesn't seem to work. Hmm. And then take out my hammer. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And just give a nice little whack to the top of the candle. Try to like just condense. Interesting. Very well. Much in the same way that Typhon uh, concealed Tam uh, Tarima Tar Tamira in the the in your first encounter by hiding her within an illusory box this illusory candle has been hiding a button and you press it there is no click because it is silent um what is your passive perception uh 16. and what is yours doran oh 11. okay well you press it and do you think, oh, that didn't do anything. Hmm. And you look up and you see descending silently from the uh, ceiling above Doran, a spiral staircase made of stone, slowly coming down <laughs> inexorably right on top of Doran's head. You have a second to do something. I am running, like I see, I'm running towards him to like tackle him out of the way. All right, make it, make it. An... And I can't actually scream. <laughs> you can't scream, make an attack roll, please. Doran is on his hands and knees, facing away from you, looking down at this uh, oil stain, uh, this uh, blood stain. This is how we lose Doran, I'll be so sad. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, 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 what kind of attack am I making here, Sean? Uh, however you want. Um, if, if you want to make a, a push attack, that would be just a, an athletics, um, and I would give Excellent. him disadvantage on resisting it because he doesn't see you coming. And Absolutely. I'll do the athletics thing. I'm just going to try to give a good old dwarf. Okay. Um, so Green. you get to resist that Doran uh, at disadvantage, please. Uh, that's athletics? Yes. Boom. Well, uh, 15 and uh, oh, 15. Oh, oh, <laughs> so, Falkron, if you would move your uh, token close to Doran, please. Absolutely. Oh, God. <laughs> right. Crush. You run into him, but because of the way he is situated on the floor, you hit him, and it's just enough to knock him down right into the space. And oh. he looks up to see this ceiling coming down just inches away. Doran, you have one chance. All right. Please make a, um, let's see, this is going to be acrobatics. Acrobatics, so. yes. That's a Can natural I one. <laughs> so I still have my unspent, uh, <laughs> my unspent inspiration. Can I okay, do yes, you can. Yes, you've been Doran, granted I'm advantage, you Doran. <laughs> 18. Oh, oh, I can <laughs> You, in your mind's eye, you can feel yourself being crushed by this thing. It's gruesome. You can feel all of the bones in your rib cage cracking and your innards spilling out on the ground beside you. But then in a second, you shake your eyes. Oh, no, that didn't happen at all. And you are lying safe and sound next to a spiral staircase that has descended. So basically, it was your own little version of the last Twilight movie scene. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. <laughs> I, was, I was trying desperately to figure out a way to which, like, yeah, the stair blight got him, came right down. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm looking at Falcon like, huge. <laughs> and I point out to the hallway and mar and walk back there. And since I can't hear any of this happening, nope. I'm Nobody heard a thing. Out of the hallway. <laughs> no one heard a thing. Oh Typhon. God. Um, I'm going to say that by around this time, um, 
as this was all going on, uh, you have completed your ritual cast of Identify. All what right. did you identify? Oh, I was casting Detect Magic. Oh, um, Detect Magic. All right. Um, well, <laughs> you receive a very strong um, illusion school magic uh, sense from the bookshelves. Um, each one of them has its own separate illusory cast. Right. Um, of course, any magic items that you happen to have on you. Um, where are you looking? Well, um, I kind of stand up after completing this casting, you know, drawing a couple magical circles on the ground with my book open. Um, goes off, I close it. And I say, All right, now it's time to figure out the puzzle in this room. Let's go, shall we? And I turn around and see. <laughs> the stairs are there. The stairs are there. Excellent. Yes. Turns come in the room. Right. And point for the stairs. Um. Well. Is there anything else of interest in the on the desk? I'll just go over quickly. Just take a quick look. See if any other magic items ping out or anything in this desk. Or I think it has a this twenty here? foot radius. Uh, the uh, thirty. Again, 30 foot sphere. So I'll just kind of like go here and look around. If there's anything besides the uh, invisibility illusion type of thing, I will. Oh. All of the, all the sconces have a, a faint conjuration. Um, uh, school uh -huh. for the, um, for the casting of continual flame. Um, yeah, there I've seems got, to I've be one of those. They're really nice. There seems to be a, <laughs> a, a similar magic uh, involved around the chair, the fireplace, and the candles. Mm -hmm. um, but other than that, no, there is no other magic that you are able to detect. I, now that I think of it, did, did did Doran communicate that there are hidden items in the Dryad's place? He never did. Okay, damn it. No, I did not. He was very charmed. Uh, as, as we, cut, as it we was a secret, and if he had died, it would have gone with him. Yeah. Oh, as we break across the threshold out of the silence, I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm so so sorry. I, what the thing was coming do? down, and then you. <sighs> What's wrong? What happened? I found the stairs. Good news. They nearly like, crushed me. I, I think he was trying to push, or she was trying to push me out of the way, but it I was a hear close a thing. thing. Oh. Right. The damn silence room. It's the blood and the stairs. That oh. room's designed to kill somebody. Well, those ones eat you because these ones will definitely eat you. And I'm, he's sort of peering around, keeping an I eye on the stairs. I don't see anything in there, Jax. I don't know what you're talking about. I looked. There's, it's I stairs. dare you to it's go in there. Are you saying that the stairs would eat That's where we came from. I see no reason to go back. I dare you to go in there. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Silas, perhaps we well, should trust Apple and go the way she suggested. Well, trust Apple, don't, not trust Jack. Certainly Jax. don't trust Apple, but I knew there was something wrong with that room. I, I trust her. Jax, what did you see? There's a monster. Come and have a look. And I'll get another ball bearing <laughs> out and I'll throw it out the stairs and then duck for cover. Who's looking? I'll take I, a look. I head around the corner to see where the ball bearing goes. Okay, uh, Rim and um, Falkron make uh, perception checks. Minus 18. With the so, advantage. With the advantage, right. Yes, thank you for remembering. Um, yes, uh, you look at this staircase, and you're like, wow, that's a really elegant looking stair. Wait a minute. And there's like a blue runner that's going up the, uh, the steps in the middle. And you look at it, and it kind of moves a little bit, sort of like a tongue licking its lips just a little bit. Falkron, you see the same thing. Yeah, let, let's take the other stairs. We're definitely taking the other stairs. Once everyone seems to be in agreement with that, I'm just going to turn around and start marching up the stairs. All right. Here we go. Um, could I take a quick look at Rim, too, and see that that um, if I get an aura of magic from that statuette? Um, well, it depends on where he's got it. <laughs> it, it, it's in a pocket of, a, of my cloak yeah i don't can, think that can it can it see it through can. it uh, can ah. foot of foot of stone inch of common metal or lead and three feet of 
I don't think any of those things apply yeah. to his clothing. Um, so let's see, what school of magic would that be? Certainly don't apply to my boots. Yeah, what about punk of dragon? Abjuration, I believe. Ah. As I'll I have suspected. to look that up, but I'm pretty sure it's abjuration. Cool. All right, I'll follow Doran then after that. So. Invocation. Yeah. Let's vow to keep an eye on each other if the silence continues in other rooms. As Jax Sorry, walks in following Silas, he was like, I know you wouldn't do it. And as he passes, he says, you big pussy, as he walks into the room. Obviously, that's a, <laughs> it's a bit where it goes so, silent. But, but but the silent the silent stops right after the puh. So it's your big yes, exactly. And that's yeah. it. That's his, uh, <laughs> inadvertently I inadvertently fear, bleeping. I fear so. nothing on the other side of doorknobs. <laughs> the doorknobs themselves all right, all right. Uh, so all of you are heading upstairs yes and without boots i am just being more cautious than i normally would of where i step like in the way that somebody who is barefoot would. good to know how clever of you tess Jax is looking at these stairs she's really throwing the line Oh God! Just, just out of uh, just out of curiosity, <laughs> um, as as we each approach the stairs, are they bloody? Are there bloody footprints? Oh, make a perception check. Anything of that nature. All of us. Um, Silas is the one who asked. Yeah, yeah I'm not checking. <laughs> well, I'm looking at the stairs warily, so. <laughs> oh yes, that's <laughs> not for point. blood. Uh, you, you you make a perception check as well. I think Doran and I figured out where that blood stain came from. Twenty two. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm looking for teeth and Jax, these, these, look like, these look like the the normal stairs. It's okay, they're normal. All right, I'm it's going all to the inanimate move objects. you all. To I'm going the next to monologue floor. while Sean is doing that without actually saying what he's doing. Um, uh, this <laughs> inanimate objects are my bane. You see, I, I fear no man or woman uh, or gnome named an Anne, but. Inanimate objects, what? door handles, barrels, these are the things, no. <laughs> <laughs> I do fear a lady gnome named Anne. What about, you, what? where do constructs lie then? Have you ever fought like an animated suit of armor or anything like that? What about you're, goblins? You're, you're alive, Jax. Oh. He's, you're, you're living. Are you? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I do love this conversation but i do have to point out that Nobody no one would be able to hear what you're saying <laughs> uh, that's why i said i'm just going to monologue while right, yes. you're doing things <laughs> internal monologue i talk nonsensical things just to cover some yeah, ground there I'm we're, all, we're all having cast, our own conversation going up repeatedly cast minor illusion to make letters appear in front of us. <laughs> yeah, that's a great a very clever <laughs> use of minor illusion there um minor illusion whiteboard is basically what that you is you climb the steps at about as soon as your head's Cross the threshold of the ceiling, the silence, the overpression of the muffling sound that keeps you from hearing, even hearing your own heartbeat is lifted, and you're talking. able to hear uh, yourself breathing. <laughs> as you come to the as you okay. come to the top of the caracol, there are no magic lights to illumine your way. The room here is dark and filled with crumbling stonework. From atop a pile of rubble to the east, a small shaft of light. Do we still streams, have- Streams through a break in the masonry. Sorry, I wasn't done yet. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm a sorry. small <laughs> shaft of light, of daylight, streams through a break in the masonry, revealing a door in the western wall. The air reeks of death and rotten vegetation. Hmm. Lovely. Can I see anything else in this room with dark vision? Mm, yes, those of you who have dark vision, this is much what you can see. Um, there is no light source for those of you who have no dark vision. It's, what about well, I mean, except, except for carrying the actually, stolen ever yeah, except for the, there, there is there is a light source I, I beg your pardon there is a light source there's light coming in through that crack right there just yes. enough to see silas also has the broken uh, the torch oh, that, that he, he does oh thank you for saying that since i'm uh, <laughs> my audio i was trying to yeah. uh, 
Do you pull that out, Sam? As I... I mean, I, I... Yes. Yes, I have pulled it out from a few rooms ago. Yes. All right. So now this room is lit as if by a torch. And I go, okay, cool. And I also go ahead and do the same thing with my war hammer where I lay my hands on it and cast my light cantrip. And I say, I'm all be my light. So... As soon as I get up there and glance around, I just, I go stand in front of the door, debate a second, and I, I wait for, I look around for Jax, basically. When, uh, when the light spells get noticed, you can see Jax over here looking, peering around the corner. All right, so the crack is at, close to the roof, which is uh, oh, 10 okay. feet up, um, but you could try to crawl up there if you wish. <laughs> Jax is, well, he's not stupid. Um... He's looking for any signs of like animal tracks, trails, or whatever it's going to be. Uh, make a survival check. Survival. 13. 13. Um, yeah, there are a few such things. You could see a little, a couple of uh, little triangular footprints. Looks like a bird may have hopped in here at some point. Recently, or? No, not recently. So I'm just gonna it's gonna sniff the air a bit as well. Let's we'll see what what he. Ah, uh, well, smell. it does. It smells horrible. There is definitely death and decay and rot coming from somewhere. It doesn't appear to be in this room. Um, you are getting uh, the sound, the smells of Baldur's Gate coming in through the uh, the crack in the in the wall there. Okay. Oh, I don't like that smell, and I'll go to the door. I guess I'll boat within it. Step aside. And uh, I'll go and check for traps. It is... Oh, well, make your investigation check. Definitely not trapped. Definitely not trapped. I'll open it. It is locked. It's definitely locked. And I will try attempt to open it. All right, so a uh, dexterity check with your proficiency bonus because of thieves tools, please. Uh, so this will be plus two on this. 14. 14. That is unfortunately not enough to unlock this door. Oh, let me try this key. I uh, don't know if I could try again. Can you try again? Um, With mine. Usually something? not. Usually not. I think that this represents the... Uh, hmm. I, can't, I don't know if it's the same. If there, was, if there was somebody else who had proficiency in thieves tools, I would allow another check. But for one person to continually check until they get the, the mm. correct thing, is that's not going to work. This uh, A failed check represents, to the best of your ability, you are not able to unlock this door. Yeah, I didn't know if it was if you fail within a certain amount, you can try again, but with disadvantage. I can't remember mm. if that's, that's 5 that's e or not a, that's, As far as I'm that aware, be, that is not a 5th edition rule. No. Oh, someone must have broken a key in it, and I put mine back. Might need to hit it with your hammer. Sean, how sturdy, yeah, how sturdy are these doors looking? Like, um, they're not like reinforced, but uh, they're not as just rotted cardboard ish as the doors in the dungeon of the Dead Three were. It would it would take a decent amount of force to um, break down this door, uh, but we, certainly possible. In terms of like the where the hinges are, like so, I'm gonna take a moment, like just my stone cunning to sort of see like where the hinges are attached, if there's any sort of weaknesses, or I'm basically just checking like the best spot to. All right, so you can check the the hinges where they attach to the masonry. Yes. All yeah. right. Is that a roll? I think you get advantage on a investigation check because you're checking something made of stone. Yes. Okay. Oh, which is good because I'm a terrible investigation. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 oh! Oh! Wow! Something I'm, about the stonework at Baldur's Gate—it just uh, thrown you for a loop. I'm actually checking this wall over here. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we need to take the other stairs. This door Do you, seems. <laughs> so. can, can we see through the keyhole? Um, make a perception or, check. Okay, I I just like if. It's not like necessarily identifying anything else in the room, but I'm mostly just seeing if I can actually look through it and see any part of the room. Um, Let's see. At a 14. You can see 
into the other room. There's it's doesn't it doesn't like open into a swirling vortex of nothingness, but uh, it's impossible to make out any details from so small a, a vantage point. Perhaps I could try and open it from the other side. Maybe Jax is walking back up to it. He's got a crowbar out now. <laughs> How would you open it from the other side, Tyler? I can, well teleport myself as long as i can see the other side i could get there if if you like we could both go i kind of raise an eyebrow towards doran your magic sword uh, can teleport you places as well can it i uh, have been given that ability yes does anyone else have the teleport ability oh, My boobs, we, we, we all do um <laughs> Uh, no, he's, he's literally got the crowbar in trying to wrench it open. All right, make an athletics check. Um, I think that the crowbar gives you advantage. Is it? Okay, cool. I will not complain. Well, in this case, I will. <laughs> yeah, 13. That's not going to do it. Although it's an impressive try for such a, a small creature. That's okay. We've got a rim. <laughs> I, we, you... I gesture to rim in the door. Oh, you want to use my crowbar? A, I'll give it a shot with the crowbar. Okay. <laughs> with advantage, I, please. I step, I step away to give room ample space. Uh, give rim ample I space. Crack! The door cracks cleanly off of its frame and is traversable. I clearly loosened it up for you. and I, <laughs> I, I holds his hand out, expected for the crowbar to be returned. Hand it back to him. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Thanks for All right. Me. This door is open. Allow me the time to revel it. You see, guys, it's it's those inanimate objects. Well, yeah. You see, this is it's the inanimate objects we have to worry about. We can conquer yeah. any living creature, undead, fiend. We are so good. Doors Doors and stairs, stuff. though. Stairs. Yeah. These are the things Our that, favorite that can found yeah. us. Just like um, robots. I, stairs oh, are, you yeah. know. Warforged might be a real problem for us. Uh, right. Uh, no, we could just swing and sparks would fly. And nothing oh, cool. There's happen. a polygon way to reveal. It takes a few more clicks. It does, but it's much more accurate. Love it. Okay. I'm, as as uh, Rim rips the door off its hinges, I am uh, I, I I look at him and give a oh, good job. Hey, yeah, yeah, you're doing a good job there, buddy. Um, All right, and then and uh, I'm going to take the door as he rips it, and I'm going to take the door and just move it off to the side, uh, firmly right. out of everyone's way. The door I'm, is I'm gone. monologuing, Sean. <laughs> I, yeah, it was and very nicely done. I appreciate it very much. Um, so you reveal this room. What can we see from the doorway, Sean? Two Aside large, from... yeah, two large cracks in the southern wall. let in daylight, weakly illumining this room. To the north, there is a door. Similarly placed as the other floors of the tower. The stench of decay is stronger here, and the stone floor shakes with the movement of something large. Would that be the large monster I can see? <laughs> can you see it? Yes, yes you can. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> a massive hillock of, yeah, of course you'd be able to see it from there. A massive hillock of putrid vegetation, corpses, and ropey tendrils drags itself towards you with a heavy scrape. In its center, barely visible amidst the muck, is what can only be the beholder, Ramazith. Its great eye is rolled back, and its massive jaws are distended in a silent scream. Sitting atop this writhing heap of rotten vegetation is a creature so lovely it makes your breath catch in your throat. Long hair, luminous eyes, and otherworldly grace from an indelible imprint in your thoughts. Even though you only catch a glimpse as she passes through the sunlight, you instinctively know, if you look on her again, 
your eyes might never be, never more be able to show you anything else. We will take our break here and roll initiative when we come back. <laughs> oh. Oh.